Hello. Hello, good sir. Let me turn you up. How you doing? Oh, okay, complaining yourself. Yeah, I'm doing all right. There's COVID in my house, but I haven't got it, so that's the one plus, I guess. So I heard, is your wife recovering okay? Yeah, it's mainly my son. He's okay yeah. at the moment, but he does have a fever at the moment. But he's like, he's a little bit more of his normal self, but I'm expecting him to deteriorate a little bit more later on. Damn, well, here's to a speedy recovery, eh? Yeah, hope so. Hope so. Right, whenever you're ready, feel free to share your um your screen. screen. Yeah, I'm just trying to find out what scene I was using before. Not that one. This one. Ah, uh, there we go. That's how you get the full screen. There we go. To screen. Okay, I'm ready on and my I end. accidentally share the wrong screen and your chat now knows my deepest, darkest secrets. Oh, we saw it apart from that, that, you know, not safe for work folder. Oh, yeah, um, okay. I'll, I'll minimize that. Yeah, yeah. Apart from that. Um, <laughs> so you're around plat, right? Uh, I literally just started my rank climb like a couple days ago. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I finished last season uh, plat two, I believe. I think the highest rank I've been was plat one. I just did not get to the... Uh, the cross. dreamland of diamond i like to consider plat two my plateau <laughs> so it's i've literally if you want the definition of hard stuck my op.gg is platinum since season four so okay and i can see the lux is your, is that your main um well i mean probably a champion that i play better than most mm -hmm. um when i was really try harding here i do like my thresh um, I did, after watching some of your videos, try out the Renata to counter kind of a double mage lane and a Trindomir. Okay. Um, so, yeah, you know, I, I'm more of like the engaged supports. Um, I do really like my Leonas, my Threshes. Um, okay. But then again, on the opposite side of things, I do also really like my Enchanters, my Lulus, I, I Soraka as well. And then kind of Lux in terms of like a mage, more poke style but I'm I'm very comfortable with my Lux. Yeah. But for some reason, I just find like in most of the team comps that we're making, I never really know where she fits in. I tend to find that either a harder engage or an enchanter tends to work better. Okay. I know you like playing a lot of different champions, don't you? I think that's probably one of my biggest problems is I do tend to play a ton of champions. And if I probably focused in on a few of them, I'd probably climb a lot better. Yeah, that would... That that's the point i was gonna make yeah and also generally hard engaged tanks at the moment for the last maybe 36 months haven't been doing too hot yeah so <laughs> hence my 45 percent win rate yeah i mean i'm not saying don't play hard engage but if you can lean more towards other things then that might suit you better but at the end of the day if you, if you enjoy playing hard engage stuff we can have a look at one of the, a game now potentially if it fits yeah i think it, let's let's see what the team comp looks like and then yeah, go for it. We can do i think that's ones. the thing it's just i kind of just feel like um i have more fun playing champions like leona yeah because it just for some reason i always find and this might also just be me not being as knowledgeable as that i sometimes like taking initiative um, in games where I sometimes find that like my AD carries too passive or something, having something like a Leona that makes a solid engage just really gets my team engaging with me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, you're at the ELO where that can work. Obviously, if you were like silver or under, I definitely wouldn't be recommending hard engage. Um, the, yeah. Do you like playing Blitzcrank? I really enjoy him. I don't think I'm as great at him. I would say like, I do like him. the one hard engage champion that's really standing out right now even in high yellow is blitzcrank um, oh really yeah i saw your videos on him and yeah he, he did seem quite good it's something that you don't want to blind pick because you kind of need to know what you're picking into like right now that's yeah. a, you got a great position and champion selection for that but blitzcrank is yeah one of the highest performance just because it makes it so clear to your team that a person has been plucked so yeah, they, yeah, they can go, okay, the hook's in. Whereas with the owner, for some reason, it takes, or even like Nautilus, even if even he has a hook, it can take a little bit like more processing time for some people to follow that up. 
Ooh, Zeri Ben. I'm normally like right now a Zeri or just Viego. I hate this champion more than anything. Yeah, I hate him too. Yeah. Like, oh my god, like six damn ultimates, yeah. tons of damage. Just no. I did also play a lot of Nautilus last season. Okay. I mean, yeah, yeah, Nautilus is, is pretty decent too. Like he's probably this he's the second best hooker. Just like Thresh right now. I know you, you had a lot on your match history. He's the weakest one right now. Nautilus? Yeah, not, it's not doing yeah. too hot. How do you find, like, have you experimented much with, I know, like, in the pro scene, a lot of people doing engaged supports with Glacial. Right, yeah, so that's an interesting one. Um, Glacial... I'm going to be completely honest. This season, I haven't done a massive amount of hard engage. Um, I would say... That one is going to come down based on you and how squishy you feel without um, Aftershock. Yeah. I'd say on something like Leona, I would prefer Aftershock because it scales off her W. So like here, for example, you do want to play a hard engage. Boxy gifted a tier one sub to oh, really? Yeah. I would say Blitzcrank would be super amazing here, but if you want to do Leona, that's absolutely fine too. Whatever you oh, want I to be good Blitz, at. Sure. Okay, cool. So yeah, don't forget to take Ignite. Yep. You could... Generally right? Yeah, that's fine. You could... Yep, that's fine. Stay block it. Um, you could always do Adaptive Force on the first run if you want to. Um, but it's not like a massive, like, you know, thing yeah. at all. <laughs> I tend to like the cooldown reduction because I know I'm going to miss hooks. <laughs> Yeah, I mean the hook, yeah, it does help the hook cool down a little bit for sure. So you're up against a was it Straka Draven? That's fun. Yeah. So yeah, Kaiser obviously short range. Um, she's gonna get harassed a lot by both Soraka and Draven. It's gonna be a tricky lane. Like laning early lane phase of Kaiser is tricky, but if you are able to find that pick, then. That will be obviously incredibly helpful and give her passive stacks towards the target you're crowd controlling. Yeah. The one thing I would say here though, because it's a Draven, like usually grabbing Soraka is awesome, but because it's Draven early, his yeah. DPS is so high early on that um, if you leave him on crowd controlled, then he's just going to just kill you guys, basically. So you, you do really want to prioritize on getting the Draven. I totally actually clicked on something. That's right, that's right. Okay, nice. okay, that's really good. <laughs> that feeling when you accidentally click on your mini-map instead of moving. Yeah. Okay, just tell him to get hey, out of there. You, you yeah, just ping guy? him back. He's already dead, isn't he? Okay, he's lucky not to be dead. All right, so yeah, you've got uh, Hextech Flash to potentially use early in lane onto the Draven. Yeah. Okay, he did die. <laughs> Gotta love the guy typing. Yeah. I've never seen that go wrong in a game of League. Wow. Oh, it started so good. The classic. Are we having fun yet? <laughs> uh, oh, okay so here don't hit the min the melee minions yeah. you don't you save your two relics your charges for the next wave yeah like if you wanted to hook here it wouldn't be terrible but the problem is now because you've hooked the yeah, draven knows you can't do anything Okay, so they're going to harass you a little bit on these melee minions if they're paying attention when you last hitting them. So just try and keep walking in and out of the brush. Let's see, get that one, now move forward. Knock him up first. That's it. Beautiful. All right, that's fine. You can't obviously do anything to the Soraka. Okay, I cool. mean, I can walk at her menacingly, though. <laughs> Uh, just help push in the lane when this next wave comes through and then reset. Relic shield on cannon minion. Okay. 
I wouldn't bother looking for a kill on Soraka, just focus on getting this wave reset. That's it. Just start recording, just indicate quite early on to Kaiser that you're leaving. Good. Positive reinforcement. Okay, I wouldn't go that far, but yeah. Okay, Kaiser needs to get out. All right, because Kaiser's going to take a while, go towards mid first. Yeah. So into, yeah, say. This is what's known as a Rome timer, right? Yeah, pretty much. Um, Vega used his flash earlier, didn't he? So he might not be able to get too much. Towards the top side. I might still try to gank mid, but I saw the Elise up here. Okay. Just go back bot. Yep. Just be wary that Elise could be in your jungle right now. Yeah. Trying to find you. So, yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to ignore that and go the risky way. It's not too risky the way you're going. Um, Get go, get your dry ward. Or dry brush warded, sorry. Okay, Elise is mid. So. Okay. Uh, you don't have Ignite, so the problem here is, is that even if you get a grab, Soraka's still going to do an okay amount of healing here. Yeah. So just look to threat and only do guaranteed hooks here, basically. <laughs> okay. Like, so don't, like, if you're not, like, feeling, like, 95% sure, basically, that the hook's going to land on, like, Draven, for example, don't bother. Just be, okay. men just be menacing and try and, like, get into their heads a little bit. At least until you ignite back up. Don't forget about the kind of minion. Yeah. Huge. You can be aggressive soon. 10 seconds. Shaco's here. You can move forward now. This is really good timing with your ignite. Really, really good. Look for Soraka hook. Look for Soraka hook. Brilliant. Perfect. Nice. So I'm not sure if you were going to do that anyway, but because Draven was yeah. guaranteed to die anyway, then you just want to see if you can get any extra targets then. Yeah, fully. Once again, reset. I don't think you should look to go onto the turret here, but if she is, help her for one plate. Okay, help her for one plate. You could probably grab her. No, I can't. <laughs> Alright, back off. That's fine. Okay, good job so far. Uh, Boots of Swiftest next. Got. Yeah. Uh, you like Swifties more on Blitz to like deal with the W slow a little bit better? Yeah, and also you do have slows to worry about on the enemy team. I control it as well. Perfect. All right, zoom out. There goes recording, so just go bot. Yeah, so I mean, The lucky good. thing is that Vagar has kind of stopped flaming. Yeah, I will, zero two. I mean, he could always just cage. Worst case scenario. Uh, Shaco is looking down here again already. You're yeah, gonna I have just a flash big lock wave. Up the Draven and then wait for the hook. Yeah. Flash away. That's it. That's just fine. That should be enough. It's just a lot of minute. Yeah, that's it. Nice. Good job. Now. Um, yeah, just help push in this lane again and then reset. Maybe get a ward in the river sooner rather than later. Okay, I would have probably suggested the brush just in case that blast cone is still available to them there. I don't think it is, right? That's kind of why I put it up there. It's uh, sometimes it doesn't show like that oh, for some true. reason. Yeah. It's alright though. Um, they got died. What's the health on Ari? <laughs> yeah, just go bot. The thing, yeah, just ignore. So, yeah, you're we're not gonna just close. Oh, come on, big boy. Shaker's got no ignite. Oh, God, that's so much damage. Alright, no flash on Ari. That's valuable information. You've got ignite. You've got a hextech flash. You could potentially land a hook here under the turret. Just relax oh, a little bit. A little... This Shake is my it. problem with Blitzcrank, man. I don't know how to relax. 
Like in this case, you're already really far ahead, okay? You've already won lane. Now it's just yeah. about like not throwing. That's <laughs> like the main thing. <laughs> so hooks right now aren't as valuable as they were before because even if you hook Draven, he's not worth as much gold. Plus, if you do miss your hook like that, it, he is still going to do a lot of damage at this point in the game. Yeah, that's a fair point. I didn't really think about that. So just obtain brush control. I mean, ideally, Kaiser wouldn't push the lane in here. Ideally, she'd yeah. just freeze it, and then you guys would be chilling. You could do, like, a hex flash here. Just, like, you know, from the brush, like, you know, cheekily. Because it doesn't matter at this point if you waste your hook, because Kaiser's not farming the wave. So it's not like she can get harassed off anything. Yeah. Whereas now doing a cheeky hook is more risk because if you use your hook now, then Kaiser can't necessarily farm. Just hold, hold back, hold back, hold back. At least it's coming down from mid. You need to get out. Nice dodge. Draven Damn it, I got hit by that. That was dumb. Yeah, I, 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 you had two people coming down from mid. It's okay. Um, I guess it's just Ruby Crystal. So Draven, no flash. Shaco's nearby. Try and go like where the Shaco's going rather than straight through the lane. Okay, might be too late for that already. The, the oh, that was early. a really early... He what, guys? Draven's got no flash. Okay. It's okay. This, yeah, get this Elise off. It's okay. Oh god. Okay, just leave. Play it to the turret. Okay, back off. Gosh, yeah, I was, I was, so I was gonna suggest you could have maybe of let them get nearer to your turret and then hook them under the turret if they kept pursuing. Yeah, that's a fair point. Rather than looking to engage on the Ari and bringing the Ari closer towards your team when they were already kind of low HP. Yeah. Um, at this point, I'd say obviously there's not much you can do here. Ward's fine. Yeah, just leech some XP. There's nothing to do on the map at all. Yeah. Usually in this situation, about 10 seconds before this, you would like want to ward up the river or whatever. But you can't even do that right now. Just hide behind that wall. Okay, now good. More towards your turret. All that. That's a really good hook. Good job. Very good. Okay, that's fine. So I can no flash now. Right, push in. Try and get um, Relic Shield ward done. I hate Relic Shield so much. It's so slow compared to Spell Thieves. Yeah. Okay, ward. Do you know the ward trick? No. Okay. Okay, just ward in that brush then. It's fine. Don't go over the wall. I'll have to teach you it. Was it the one going in here? It's the one where you can ward the enemy tri brush from the river. Yeah, I've seen you do that in your videos. It's annoying. I've never figured it out. I should go into the practice tool and just try it. Yeah, we've done it, we've done it already today with someone. You can probably make a play here. That's a really nice cage. You, yeah, you didn't need to hook because the cage was already there. Okay, you've got cooldowns, so don't oh boy. look to do too much. Ward the brush, that's it, yep. Soraka might be grabbable. You'll use, yeah, you I'm just, out of mana. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they got the jacks on here. Yeah, I can't do this. Yeah, you can't. Just recall. There's nothing. There's literally nothing you can do. You haven't got mana for anything. I mean, Shaker might try and... Nah. And overall, you're doing pretty decently. Yeah, it hasn't been too bad so far. I, th I think there were definitely mistakes. We should have had probably a more substantial lead in this lane. Um, and I haven't really been able to roam a lot because the Vagar is always dead. Yeah, I mean, mid lane's been your main problem. So roaming has been quite out of the question this game. Yeah. Um, but honestly, you guys got a nice hook again. 
You can keep chasing this down. Brilliant. Let's push this in. Elise is uh, around and Kaiser's super low. Ping the brush. Like, does Kaiser not know? Yeah. Uh, yep. Okay, just don't hook early. Just try and get them to the turret. Yeah, that works. It's a shame about the Kaiser. Act like a sick or wounded animal. Yeah, exactly. Sweet. Get the cannon. Help you? What was I going to help you with? No, no, she's not. Yeah, she's just trolling. Yeah, that, you did the right thing there by getting it closer towards your tower. So that means they have like longer distance to run to safety. Do you only have a preference between like um, the even frost versus the... Uh... Lock it just got lock nerfed. Um, if they've still got a lot of AB damage on enemy team, then go lock it. But otherwise, even shards good for picks. The Akai's is just being super unappreciative. That's whatever. Good old fashioned and I love the question marks like uh, cool yeah. down. Cool down is what that means. Or compact disc if you're a boomer like me. <laughs> then I'm still on Walkman. The cassette discs. Okay, just look for the knockoff if you can. It's fine. Just keep the wads up after you make a play. When you go up to this yeah. turret here, ward the dry brush. Brilliant. I also haven't figured out that ward that you do right here to get into the river. Okay, I'll teach you. It's fine. The, the, I, I've, I've screwed that up on so many occasions. It's okay. I'll teach you. Okay. All right, look to peel here. All right, so yeah. we'll put more towards the jacks. All right. Oh! Ooh. It's okay. I mean, look to lock up a game when you can. Watch your mana, though. Wait for the dodge. The guy's coming down. Walk towards him. Okay. All right. But you did the right thing, though, after you made the mistake. Like, walking towards the Vega rather than walking towards the turret. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. You can do whatever you want here. Lock it or even shroud. It's up to you. And then you want anti heal, so it's gonna have to be Thornmail. You wanna go executioners during this? <laughs> no. Bro, where's the off meta builds? Is that not how you climb it? I don't. I don't watch your off meta streams. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't. But not many people do. <laughs> Let's grab. Kaiser has ulti. She might go in. Yep. Just look to. Yeah, that's fine. At this point, if you can enable like deep vision, that would be awesome. So like, yeah, and that brush is good. Um. Try and assist mid now. I think a little bit in terms of vision. Okay, this Elise might be possible. Yeah. Okay. Brilliant. Silent straight away. Good. Just didn't want her to repel to the um Yeah. The grump. I mean you got a cooldown on the hook and you got very low mana. That's fine. Just recall. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. I find Blitzcrank is like have you ever tried doing like Fimble Winter on Blitzcrank for mana issues? Don't like it. Um you yeah. could do uh what did you go secondaries? Uh, the um, secondary runes. Yeah, you could X do. And cosmic. Yeah, you could do instead of uh, cosmic insight. Actually, maybe cookies Ooh. would be better. Cookies are quite nice on Blitzcrank for the mana issues. Yeah, true. Yeah, especially that early game. All right, so it's just all about setup for dragon now. It's just, you can put a ward over that. Yeah, don't look for for a hook that you're by yourself. Okay, yeah, that works. Move all out the way now. I would say, like, ward that brush as soon as you can. That pixel brush, that's it. Okay, good. Just there's no reason to fight now. Yeah. 
Um, all right, you want to be around mid, really, with the Kaiser. Just like Oracles, have a little look around. You should be okay. I don't like how you said should. Yeah. Everything's got a risk, right? <laughs> You're not instilling much <laughs> con. <laughs> if you had any spare wards, like a ward in the mid lane here, it'd be awesome. But obviously, you don't. Don't look. No, no, no. I know. You've I'm glad I didn't. We don't know where anybody is. Yeah, yeah. it's fine. Uh, put a control ward on that brush towards Baron. That one that Kaiser's in right now. Mm -hmm. I would say like put the control ward more towards your side of the brush, just in case like they could reach it. You, you... Yeah, that's fair. Um, I mean, at this point, I'm just I mean, gonna go and finish yeah. off my bramble. Yeah, and Recharge get more shots. Exactly. Yeah. If you've ever found yourself like kind of feeling like uh, I'm walking around the map pointless, just that's the next best thing. Do you try and get these running stacks done if possible. Yeah. You got decent vision on the map now, so you don't have to move too much. I think at this point, any time you look like you think you can get a hook in and flash for it, just do it if there's teammates nearby. Nice hook. Woohoo! It's a shame Shaco's not nearby for Reddit. Yeah, I know, right? All three of my stacks. You could, maybe, but look, um, Sion's getting close, but he has no ulti. When you feel like it's safe to do so, get a ward near the enemy tier one turret. Like in the middle of the lane. And what if I don't ever feel like it's safe to but do you could, so? You could always just W forward and then just like do it. You're in range now, really, to put down a ward. It's like, just... Yeah, yeah like that. You could have popped your, your W could have as been well. closer. Because I mean, if, if they see you W forward as well, they, in their mind, especially when you're ahead, they're probably thinking, oh crap, they're coming at me anyway. It's yeah. kind of good to do that in, in some cases as well, just to get into their head a little bit. It's just only putting one down here because if they just auto attack it smartly, then it's yeah. going to be gone. Well, the thing is, is once again, you can get into their head. You can like put the ward down and you can like W, okay, go. Nice grab onto the Elise, I like it. Nice knockups. Okay, you got a lot of them dead. You could ping for Baron if you wanted to. Using Kaiser sucks. Oh, there's a flash. flash. Okay, just push in mid then, I guess. A ward that. Okay, so whenever you're in enemy territory, you want to put a ward down. That, yeah, so you could have put a ward down at the, uh, the, the KFC brush. The KFC brush? Yeah. Which one's that? That That's one there. This one? Yeah. Why is it the KFC brush? I just named it that just now. It's a oh. chicken brush. <laughs> Don't forget you can use your E as an auto attack reset. Just in case you wanted yeah. to do that quicker. Yeah, it's true. I think once again, I'm just like, well, I guess 25 mana, I can spare that. Yeah. Now, where would you normally go from here? You have a lot of magic damage. So, giant spell. You want to finish full mail, basically. Oh, you would really finish this first? Yes. Okay. Because whatever target that you crowd control with that, you're applying 60% Grievous Wounds. So, you want to stop yeah. that Soraki here then coming through as quickly as possible, basically. they got lots yeah, of champions that, that heal. And what also are you thinking for items after... Um, th that, that after that point, there aren't that many great tank items. Um, usually every game is like Relic Shield for Mel. You could do Wardstone. I think that's fine. You can do um, like you can a analyze what you need if you need like magic resistance. <laughs> then yeah, you can do Force of Nature. Okay, Ooh. nice hook again. Uh, just clear out the vision now. That's fine. Get a ward on the other side of this wall. I thought I saw at least behind it. No, we just killed her. Oh, yeah. Who was there? I swear. Okay, whatever. Okay, help out here then. Okay. Uh, yes. Okay. Baron, I would have said just do dragon because it's about to respawn, but it's fine. And because Shaker was like waiting right oh, next God, to okay. it. Yeah. <laughs> Where are we going, people? How many dragon stacks are you guys on? One. Okay. So just set up Baron Vision while you're waiting then. So just get the wards behind the Baron. Get the wards behind the Baron. Like, no, no. You want... Okay. 
I would have said just go literally behind the Baron and go into that brush and wood it. And maybe even get a one near the in their red brush as well. Yeah. So you had time there to get deeper vision. But don't we feel like we need the tank here? Not early on. It's okay. Okay, cool. Just recall fast. All right. Yeah, you didn't necessarily need to detect that like straight away. It's not like they're gonna instantly die to Baron. The vision's yeah, more important. Yeah, does that reduce the damage that they do though? Um, I thought it was a timing issue with us doing two at the same time. It's I don't not. Know, yeah, it's not the end of the world. That's why I say like it's much more important to get the vision in to make sure that the enemy team aren't gonna collapse on you guys rather than yeah tanking a couple of hits on Baron because you could have just hex flashed over the wall. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. I think that's the thing. It's a lot of the micromanaging things that I think really like separates my gameplay. I think that's what would push me into like the diamond territory. Those little details that I just yeah. tend to not do. Like everything in terms of objective, like the forest support, the main thing is vision, and then it's making sure that the enemy doesn't get to it. Like if you're playing a tank support, like tanking Baron is like number three on that list, I guess. Ooh, spooky. Ooh, Unlucky. nice juke, buddy. Just be in the front line if you can still here, though. Don't forget you got locket. Brilliant. Or an Ari behind you. Just ward brushes as you're going around just in case. I'm f yeah, chasing after an Ari seems push, a bit yeah. troll. Yeah. It's pretty four for two. I'll take that. I keep on forgetting that Jax's Counter Strike blocks my E because it's considered an auto attack. Yes. I yes. wasted my E there, which was dumb. Come probably on, you, you probably don't have to run away from that like, by the time you run away from it. It's scary, <laughs> man. <laughs> Alright, just be careful here now, though. Like, cage is down, for example, so that, yeah, you need to back away. Like, the cage, if the cage gets used like that, and it, like, whiffs, just... And you can't hook someone into it, then just leave. Yeah. TP's being used by enemy jacks. Um... I mean, there's not... A, I mean, I would say just say, stay, stay for Wardstone. You could oh, also really? buy like tenacity potion if you really wanted to. You could do Anathemima's chains, but it's not necessarily that great. If you had a decent amount of magic damage in your team, Abyssal Mask is okay. Yeah. Just to enhance the damage. But Did like, you ever think about like sometimes in a game like this where you've got like somebody like an Ari who's currently like the only fed person on the team going like Anathema's chains to kind of counteract that? If you have a lot of crowd control on your team, like and having a one target, yeah, using a one target like that can be very helpful. The problem yeah. is at this stage in the game, like once you've bought two items, it's going to get very difficult to start completing a third item. <laughs> so that's really why I like Wardstone. Like Wardstone is, you know, really cheap. It's a third of the price of any full completed item. Yeah. Because you yeah, I never thought about that. Yeah, I don't the game is basically. Honestly, that the game's pretty much almost over. You're not going to get like two thousand more gold at this point. Well, you shouldn't do at least well, anyway. Not with that attitude. Well, I don't want you to in. <laughs> <laughs> right, just get ward over the wall here. It's fine. You can get it like deeper into their base, whatever. You're you're free to like kind of do whatever you want. They've got death timers. It should be in here, but then back off. That's fine. Okay, don't just let. Uh, yeah. Okay, you might want to sacrifice yourself here to disengage off the jacks. Brilliant. You might die. Just use everything you can to be annoying. Okay, good job. I don't know why she's going back in. Be careful here. I think just save yourself. Save yourself. And then just be annoying because sign is but nice hook. Sign is but pushing. Fizzle, I hate this! Leave, 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 leave. You can okay. mana. Vagar's trying to flank. Oh, we got this rock. You got no mana. Just say whatever. Yeah, just leave. <laughs> Sign might be able to end. I'm not sure what's going on up there. Is he ending? 
Oh, Scion is so dumb. That passive is so, yeah. so dumb when it comes to turrets. That's I, definitely going to be their dragon, huh? Yeah, I wouldn't even bother looking to steal that. Just to Now, you might not bother. Oh, God, here we go. I am not you. This is my time to shine. I mean, this is why I'm having to coach you. That's why you're not me. <laughs> Just be really careful here, because worst case is you accidentally hook Jax and then you're dead. Yeah, I wouldn't know. He knows you're there. This is really <laughs> no, bad. I want to. So oh, no, okay. They're not stupid. Yeah. Fine. Look, just but take a look at the content, though. Where is the vision that you need right now? Over to the Baron side. Exactly. Oh, you're making me play the game for real. Mm hmm. I mean, you guys got two inner hips down, so that you should have a lot of control over this objective. So just get used now, a good opportunity to get deep vision. And if you have to recall, depends on the Baron timing, do it so you can get the more board charges in. And don't forget, because you got Wardstone, you can put down four wards this time. Oh, right. I forgot about that. Huge, huge vision control. I'll probably just melt this, right? Yeah. Science split pushing as well. So if they do turn up here... Just don't pull the Elise yeah. in. Yeah, just don't... Yeah, don't hook anyone, really. Yeah. I just go down mid. Go down mid. Go down mid. Mid, mid, mid. You got like super creeps coming in quite nicely on top okay. and bot right now. Oh yeah, we should just join the minions, right? Mm -hmm. Also, no one else on your team record either. <laughs> yeah, okay. that's true. That should be a good sign not to. Um, just okay. So get controlled on behind here, this wall, so they can't see you hooking. Okay. Like there, yeah. Don't necessarily have to kill the ward. It's not important to kill it, right? Look for squishy targets. Like, yeah, that was a good look. Sign is looking to end. He probably will. He can end, I think. Just look to back him up, I think. Good job. It's not a good job yet. Oh, come on. <laughs> I'll take it. GG. You could do another one if you like. I don't know if I... Well, yeah, sure. I can do one more. Why not? What's up, G? Yeah, sure. Okay. I mean, generally, pretty solid job, honestly. Um, hooks were very good. Um, Decision-making on the hooks as well was pretty good. The couple of things would be is... When you're moving into enemy territory... Just make sure you get those wards down since you're already there. Like you don't want to like backtrack, basically. Yeah. You don't want to like be in the enemy jungle and then walk out of it and then go, oh, I should have warded and then like go back in and then by then there could be enemies. Um. So while you're already in the luxurious position of being in enemy ter territory, just use that to your advantage and get those wards down as yeah. you're moving. Yeah, I do need to do that more. I don't really chime that in as something that I always need to do when I'm in there. The other thing is, Blitz, I mean, on the whole, Blitzcrank play was, was pretty good. If I had any critique, it would be don't pressure yourself to hook too much. Because yeah. the downside of missing a hook is super bad. It's like essentially that you're getting hooked yourself, really, if you if you miss yeah. a hook. Oh, especially against that Draven, right? You saw how much potential mm -hmm. he had when he knew he wasn't threatened. So some good opportunities in terms of getting free hooks is when like when your AD carry can't be punished. So like if there's no farm nearby, like that's a good time to hook because it means that if you do miss, the enemy AD carry still has to focus on farming as opposed yeah. to running it down looking for your AD carry because if he does that, then he's tanking minions as well. Yeah, that's a good point. And then the other thing as well is like delaying like the hook and just waiting for them to get nearer to your turret. The further that they're away from their their own turret, the more likely like if your team comes to back you up that they're likely to die. Because I remember that was that one time where you managed to delay it a little bit, you know, get it get them more towards your turret. And it worked a lot better than the time that I didn't delay it. Yeah. Obviously you don't want to hook like, you know, when your team is, is squishy like very low on HP, you don't want to bring in a someone that could potentially yeah. kill them necessarily is that just bringing up the re play that i had yeah 
just yeah just to reiterate that, that point there um 